Welcome to another daily update here in the Creepy Crawler's Garage. And as you saw, we started installing the new floor in the garage. But as you also saw, I grossly underestimated the amount of materials we're going to need because we were only able to get halfway done. But let's go ahead and head into the garage, take a look at where we're at. And while we're at it, we'll get an update on the TRXZ project and the Grinch project. So I think the black and gray was the right color to go with, the right color combination. I think it's going to look best on camera, and it contrasts well with the reds and the colors, I think, the best. Um, and I've got quite a bit more material left of it. Here's like the, a stack of black and a stack of the gray that I made. Basically, I hand cut this foam, and then I'm taping it down. And that's exactly actually what I ran short on was the tape I'm using the, to put these down with. Um, it does have a little wave in it from using the tape. These, these foam pieces wave a little bit, but I got some ideas in the near future that I think could fix that. And it's something that you guys might also be interested in too when you start doing your garages. I've got an idea how to basically mass produce this stuff effectively and with a little bit better outcome than what I'm getting right now. And it might be something you guys are interested in the future, but we'll talk about that down the road a little bit. I just wanted to give you a look at what this is looking like so far. I really do like the color. I really like it the, the way it's looking so far and the way it contrasts on film. Um, I just got to get more tape and a little bit more foam to finish it out. Um, and then we'll go from there. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Before we move on and take a look at the TRXZ project and the Gremlin build, I wanted to quickly mention that the decals I was having printed have come in. So basically got sheets of four decals. These are die cut decals, one for each of the uh, four projects we're working on, the 6x6 Velociraptor, the Samurai project, the TRXZ, and the Grinch build. Uh, they're sheets of four. Uh, if you're an Explorer level or a higher patron, uh, yours are already on your way. They're in the mail now, coming your way. But I also wanted to offer these up to everybody else. If you're interested, uh, I was going to uh, make these available for $3 a sheet, a sheet of four. Basically, it's a $3 donation to the channel, uh, and I'll send you your own sheet of decals. If that's something you're interested in, uh, email me at the email down in the description down below, uh, and I will definitely uh, get those to you. Just hit me up at the email and we'll get it taken care of. Went ahead and moved the TRXZ project in the garage so we can take a look at where we're at with it. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was the 50 cal machine gun that's gonna be going on the passenger side or in the passenger side of the cab. Uh, this is the 50 cal that's gonna sit in there on a servo and be able to rotate. Um, I wanted to replace the barrel. So I had, if you remember back, we had a 3D printed barrel, about a five inch barrel that uh, we had 3D printed that looked, looked pretty good. But anytime you print something that long and skinny. It just, it's not perfectly straight. So I wanted to replace it. So what I did is get, I went and got some brass tubing uh, that's the same outside diameter um, and cut a five inch, five inch length piece of it. So now we have a perfectly straight barrel that we'll, we can put into the machine gun. The only thing is now I'm gonna have to drill the holes down the length of it. Basically on four sides, it has holes all the way down the length and that'll better represent the, the barrel of a 50 cal machine gun. I'll also weather it up, get rid of this shiny any new look. It needs to it needs to look like it's been used a few times. It shot down a few uh, few zombies out there in the apocalypse. So I'll weather it down to glue it into the uh, glue it into the, the the housing or the body of the gun, and then that uh, that'll have the 50 cal done. We'll be ready to put it on a turret and on a servo and get it get it working. Now the other big gun that we've been working on also is the missile launcher that's going in the back. And basically what I did is I, I had some old water slide decals from some from some aircraft models that I've used to just give it some final touches. I, I wanted this to look kind of like it was a, off of a, a military uh, piece of equipment from the future, from, you know, during the apocalypse that we salvaged off of a, uh, uh, a military tank or something like that. So I tried to give it a few of those military stickers um, or decals from uh, from an aircraft. Basically, it's a World War II aircraft. Um, and also gave it uh, a name. So now, let's see if I can get it to focus. Now its name is Bunny. This is actually some nose art. If, you, uh, if you're familiar with a World War II Warbirds, this is actually some nose off of a, uh, a P-51 Tuskegee Airman uh, Mustang. So uh, I use that to give it a name. So now our missile launcher that's going to be in the back cage is going to be referred to as Bunny. 
but I, I think it looks pretty well, pretty good. I ended up adding some um, some weathering over top of it just to make the decals fit in. Kind of, I used uh, some rub and buff just like the rest. Just kept it real dry because I didn't want to go too heavy over the decals. I want you to be able to see them. Uh, and then I gave the whole thing a coat of matte clear, and I think it turned out pretty well and I think it's pretty much done. I already have the servo horn on the bottom. It's ready to be stuck on a servo. It'll be controllable also. Uh, it's just going to need a cage to go in the back. So let me move this over here. It's going to be mounted in the cage back here. And what I was thinking about doing, because I need to build an entire cage back here. And so what I thought was thinking about doing was using the cage off of the six by six I had. So this is pretty close. This is close to uh, to working. I just need to modify it a little bit. Basically, the, the shock towers here are in the way for me using it, but I think if I cut these triangles off, reposition them inwards, and then add some tubing at the bottom, of course, this will sit lower over top of the uh, over top of these shock towers once those triangles are gone. I think this thing's going to fit pretty pretty well, pretty close, to, and it'll just take a few tubes at the bottom, and that'll make it a lot easier to build the cage out back. And then, of course, we'll build a platform for the turret for this to be able to turn. Um, and I think that's going to be the easy solution for the cage in the back. And I also wanted to mention, I got a, uh, a good comment about the, the roof of the truck, about adding some stuff to the roof of the truck. And I've really been thinking about that and I'm not, I'm not real sure what to do. At the beginning, I thought, well, I'll have this pop up and I'll have some guns in there, the, the sunroof. But then I, I remembered we're going to have a missile launcher back here. So we can't really put anything in the way of that on the roof. Uh, like any guns or anything like that. I thought about, uh, and I think they had mentioned too, like doing a mohawk of spikes, uh, something like that. But it can't be anything in the way of the missile launcher. So if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comment section, what can we do with the roof? I think they had mentioned maybe just doing some graphics up here or something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should do with the roof. Um, and then I wanted to give a look at one more thing because we had talked last time about using gre uh, greebles in your build. So small pieces from old models and things just to add detail uh, to a build. So I went ahead and added some to the uh, to the missile launchers that are gonna be popping out of the hood here. And so it's gonna add, and you can see, instead of just having a flat, let me get it to zoom, hopefully. Uh, come on, come on in and focus. Um, instead of having, there we go, instead of having just a flat piece, now we have some details. So when this thing pops up, you got a little detail. It, it doesn't look out of place. It looks like it fits in. It looks like it has mechanical pieces that are making it work. Went ahead and added some decals on this side too, just to uh, to make it look like it was again something. This is something that was sourced or salvaged from another vehicle. Uh, but anyways, that's what you can do with using greebles. And I actually put a bunch together, so I thought I'd give some examples of what I had going on. Let me throw these out out here. So I've got some different things like struts from wheels work real well or shocks work real well in these builds. I've got some, uh, these were actually ladder, ladders, but they could be used as grates or anything like that. Um, and then I also had uh, a bunch of netting pieces like this that I think I might be able to use in some different places. And then another thing that I had too that I thought was real interesting were some tank, were some belly tanks. Um, these might, I don't, I don't know if I can incorporate these in somehow to the build. You know, I don't know if, the, the, you know, they, I don't know, but I thought, uh, I thought they were pretty cool. Mike could, Mike could work. Um, and then I also had a, a little bomb. I thought maybe that would make a good hood, hood ornament. We'll just put it right on front here. I don't know, maybe we'll see, but th this is just to give you an idea of kind of what you can do with some old uh, models that you have laying around, or sometimes you can pick these things up at uh, garage sales for nothing. And then you've got a whole bucket full of stuff that you can use with, whether it's decals or little pieces like that. But anyways, that's where we're at with the TRXZ project. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, leave, leave a comment for me, especially about the roof. I'd like to figure out something to do up there. I'm going to start cutting these doors so we can get those to pop open. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. And just real quickly before we go, guys, I just wanted to give a quick update on the Grinch build. There's not a whole lot that's changed with it as of right now. Um, but what I did do was get um, the magnets in 
that we're going to be using for the door in the hood. So these are the magnets. So I'll put one magnet uh, in the door itself and one magnet in the door jam. And then of course that was what will hold the door closed um, while, you know, while we're going down the trails and keep it from flinging open. Same thing with the hood. I'll use them to keep the hood closed. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. They work really well uh, in those type situations where you need, where you can't, where it's too small really to make a latch and you just need to use some magnets. These little tiny things work perfect. You can find them on Amazon. Um, I'll try to leave a link down in the description to them. So if you if it's something that you need, uh, you can you can use that link down below. Thanks for joining me again today here in the garage. And I really appreciate the comments I've been getting down in the comment section. You guys have given me some great ideas. So I really appreciate those comments. And if you have a good idea, just leave it down in the comment section for me. I love reading them and I love replying to you guys. Um, if you've enjoyed the uh, video, uh, hit that like button. It really helps these videos uh, in the YouTube algorithms, just the way YouTube works these days. And if you've watched this far and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with these builds and all the different programs and series we have going on this channel. Uh, I really appreciate it and thank you for joining me today guys and I'll see you tomorrow.